To begin with, any stage materials that are being loaded onto or into a vehicle must be done with the intention of preventing any movement. For flatbeds, this is accomplished through the use of binding chains, web straps, or nylon straps. These straps must be in direct contact with all items at all times. And if the items are placed side by side and secured by straps, the items themselves must be in contact at all times. If you're delivering more fragile items like windows and doors, you're going to strap those separately away from the more durable goods. Now we talked a lot about strapping, just how strong are these? Well, you're about to find out. A strap or multiple straps must have a combined working load limit of at least half the weight that they are securing, meaning that if you're securing a 5,000 pound unit, you have to have straps with a minimum of 2,500 pounds of rating. When it comes to how many straps you need to use, there are some variables here too. One strap can be used on any item that is not against the headboard if the material is less than 1,100 pounds and is less than five feet in length. Two straps are used in cases where the item is more than 1,100 pounds and less than five feet in length or on any item between five and 19 feet in length. And finally, three straps are used when the item is longer than 19 feet. Although we've given you a range of strapping requirements, most companies will require two straps on anything that you're delivering. And while we're talking about securing and strapping, don't forget equipment you're taking with you to unload the product. That needs to be secured as well. Forklifts, hand trucks, and other pieces of mechanical or manual equipment need to be secured in place by four tie downs, two in the front and two in the rear. Additionally, these tie downs should be pulling each end of the equipment toward each other in order to prevent rolling. And if you're using chains instead of straps, it's recommended that you use a grade 70 transport chain. By the way, certain types of rope may be acceptable as tie-downs in transporting equipment when a van is being used. However, rubber bungee cords should never be used to hold anything to a truck. Additionally, any small items such as hardware or paint or boxes of nails need to be secured, but not placed loose in the back of the truck or the cab. That's illegal. They can be transported in a secured waterproof box that's affixed to the truck by some other method.